and this is just kind of a quick recap of a uh, little bit of progress that we made and uh, what we've gone through through the conceptual design process process this is a, a little bit of a little bit of history of how we got to where we're at today this was a cold day in December we, we printed out some 3d models and we actually went through about 40 or 50 um, scale comparisons and size studies on how we could fit this building on the site. Those options then led to these eight options, and this is when we started to interact with our MAPS team and uh, our subcommittee and some various other um, uh, groups around the city. So we led uh, to these eight options. We, we broke them down into functionality, rearrange, and organize, and these eight options then led to these three options. And this was about two months ago. We had panorama, city view, and park view. These options were trying to capitalize on some of the key relationships to downtown, to the park, to the arena, and to any kind of future expansion that we have for the facility. And we ended on our final scheme, which is a, a hybrid of all these. We're still early on in the design phase, and this is a test fit. This is a costing exercise to make sure that the program that we're trying to deliver is within budget and will fit within the desired um, you know, land requirements. So it would be really good just to kind of readdress uh, what we're doing with the site. The key here is to allow the building to fit, we're gonna have to move Broadway to about 200 feet to the east. It's gonna allow the appropriate square footage and acreage to allow the building to sit along Robinson in between uh, 4th Street and 6th Street. The streetcar obviously is going to be extremely important for the user experience as we you know, experience the new park, walk to the front door of the convention center, and we want to make sure that that experience is first class. So right now where the streetcar is sited, we have about an 800 foot walk um, past the potential new hotel development to the front door of the convention center, adjacent to the, the park plaza on the northwest corner, uh, northeast corner of, the, uh, of uh, Robinson and uh, the Oklahoma Boulevard. So making sure that that is a comfortable, uh, comfortable walk, a first class experience. So we've been tasked with uh, some, some parking studies. We're about midway through this parking study right now um, on how many cars we can fit within the footprint of the convention center site. Um, off the cuff, we, uh, we have ability for approximately 750 cars um, on grade and the potential for um, approximately 800 cars, 780 to 800 cars um, above or below or around the convention center. Um, so we're still working on that, but knowing that parking will be a, an integral part of how uh, people access this facility. The relationship to the park, uh, we always joke at Populous, in every project we ever do, um, outdoor space is of key value and all facilities are chomping at the bit to have ample outdoor space to host events, to get people outside for health and wellness reasons, exposure to daylight, and what we have here um, in Oklahoma City, to your guys' credit, is that we have an ideal situation with this relationship to the park. Mm -hmm.